Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Rosmo. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'd know that I had some sponsors here and there. And do you know where sponsors usually talk to YouTubers? That's right, the good old email. Now, for me personally, talking through email isn't some casual where na you hear na me type of communication. I take emails very seriously, no matter who I'm talking to. It doesn't matter if you're a CEO of a big company, a guy who hit an old lady with a breadstick three blocks away from me, or my closest friend. I will write so far. Normally, it'll blow your socks off. Let me give you an example. Hello, name. My team and I would like to inform you with the utmost seriousness that if your party does not comply with the directives I have and will be sending to you, I will strike any trace of Gallus Gallus Domesticus from the vision of you or anyone involved. Have a nice day. Rosmo. You know, how we were taught how to write letters in elementary. Oh, you thought the letter I wrote just now was odd? Well, it is! Because you guys sent it to me! I asked my viewers and followers on Twitter to send me the weirdest sentences they can think of and I will try my best to make it sound as professional as I can. The letter I read to you earlier is sent by Amanda K0261662. Originally, they sent, If you disobey me, I will slap the chicken off your eyes. Now I'll be doing it for some of your submissions. And let me tell you, you guys didn't make it easy for me. Oh my gosh. Starting off with those from Twitter. From at a underscore dude named Jake. I am currently eating mashed potatoes at 3 a.m. That's easy peasy, Jake. Listen to this. Dear sir or ma'am, I believe it is the opportune time that I inform you of my current situation. I regret to report to you that I am in the process of consuming a spud mashed into a delicacy high in carbohydrates at the earliest hour of 3 a.m. I hope to hear from you soon. Rosmo. Boom. Mic drop. Typewriter out the window. Next one. Ooh. This one is sent by Minehack. They said, It's raining tacos from out of the sky. Tacos. No need to ask why. Just open your mouth and close your eyes. It's raining tacos. Now, I can't imagine emailing someone having this as the content, but oh boy, let me try. <laughs> Dear Minehack, I believe it is in both our best interest to inform. No, I used inform too much. Google synonyms of inform. Brief, brief. I believe it is in both our best interest to brief you in the unusual ongoing precipitation of wheat-based food originally from Mexico. It appeared in the sky, these so-called tacos. Asking the cause of this would be unnecessary. I'd advise you to kindly follow my instructions. Firstly, open a mouth, preferably yours. <laughs> and close your eyes. While doing that, please keep in mind that it is raining tacos. Yours truly, Bell Taco. I'm not allowed to say the other inverse word of that. Okay, that was a little difficult. I won't be surprised if that came from a song, mind hack, but thanks. I'll take one last from Twitter and one from YouTube. You guys sent so much, I wish I could go through all of them, but alas, I have deadlines. Mainly sponsors. Anyway, next one. Pulling in from my randomized hat from Doug Dimmodome, I, uh... <laughs> From Puppet Forgotten, I'll have you know I touch grass regularly. I keep some in a Ziploc bag for that very purpose. Okay, alright. I mean, I don't touch grass that much myself, so... Oh gosh, maybe I should do sometime this week. Time to sound like a normal human being that touches grass. Dear Genshin fan, oh, wait, what? No, I mean, dear mom. Yeah, that's what I meant. Due to sudden misunderstandings through our conversation, I believe I must correct your previous assumptions about me. I come in contact with greenery on a regular basis in view of the fact that I am prepared with a Ziploc containing a portion stored from a nearby pasture. Yours truly, a degenerate. Oof, that was kind of a struggle. And I added way too much details than needed. But that's why we have Grammarly. Thanks to Grammarly for nothing because they didn't sponsor me. Let's go on to check the YouTube comments. This one I'm taking personally. This is a challenge. Lovely for life sent. Can a fart mate? Watch me, sweetie. I will make it sound professional as it can be. Dear sir or ma'am, I hope this email finds you in good health and in a prosperous position to put... Well, I'm kidding. Scratch that. Thank you for taking time to answer my inquiries. I would like to ask a personal question of mine. One that I have been struggling to find answers to and I am hoping that I could find the answer with your help. Is it possible for flatulence to sexually reproduce? Hope to hear from you soon. Ross. As you can see, I am a pro at this. Of course, I don't talk about farting or tacos in any of my emails and I have written a bunch of essays in my my high school days just rephrasing a single sentence and repeating it but just different wordings so i guess you can say i aced this 
You guys thought I wouldn't be able to make your weird little submission sound professional? Well, you thought right! Because no matter how many fancy words I use, if I ask somebody if they see tacos falling out of the sky or me carrying grass in a Ziploc bag to touch it every once in a while, I would never sound professional. But it was fun trying. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm still thinking of another challenge I could do, but for now, let's go with the... Let's go with this. Tell me what is the best instrument to cook a meal with and explain your answer. Winner gets to be in a... In this box of praise. Yep. Y you could be the one who goes in here. Nailed it. Yeah, so uh, go comment. So yeah, 